Hello, you guys. I am here with another weekly roundup. I honestly probably change what this is called every single time I do this. So this week we're going with weekly roundup. Um, and I've added a little of a visual for you guys once again. And I'm always going to be tinkering, tinkering around with these things, seeing what works and doesn't work. So I thought this one would be a nice addition to this video. The first part of this is truly me just like rambling on with some thoughts um, that I've been having through the holiday season. And you guys know for the past couple months, I've been up every couple hours with Nisha feeding her. And in that time, I also do a lot of late night scrolling. And going into these holiday seasons, I have definitely felt more feeling of anxiety and the feeling of not being enough. And what I've been trying to focus on is instead of that, having really deep, meaningful feelings of gratitude in my life instead. And this has really been a game changer. This is also probably on my mind because Thanksgiving is here and I'm trying to teach Penelope what gratitude and thankfulness is. So my little tip for you is if you are feeling overwhelmed, stressed, anxious, feeling like not enough is to get out of this constant feeling of your thoughts turning in your head and really tap into your body and get out of that fight and flight response. And the way that we do that, or the way that I like to do that, and I think is the fastest, is to take a deep breath first and foremost and breathe deeply into your lower spine. Then from there, tap into your senses. Try to visually pick out a couple things that are in front of you, hopefully things that are pleasant to your sight, take in smells around you, feel what your body is feeling, like your bum on the seat or tension in your neck or whatever it is, good or bad. And now we're starting to tap into our actual body. Then from there, you've now given yourself a little bit of space to actually think deeply about things that you have gratitude towards. And this really brings, doing that first, at least for me, has made it more intentional. In the past, whenever I've done gratitude journals, I kind of just write down whatever, just check it off my list. But when I actually stop and breathe and tap into my body first, I'm able to give this way more intention. So like I said, if you're someone that's feeling very like overwhelmed, then this might be something that helps you out as well. So that's page number one there. Let's go ahead and tap in to page number two. All right, some things that we have going on in the gym. So as we've been mentioning, December 2nd through the 9th is our Bring a Friend week. It's just a few days away. You still have time to sign up any friends or family members that you have, and you continue, continue signing them up or bringing them in during the week. A reminder, have them come in as many times as they want, and we will be adjusting the beginner workouts to even friendlier versions. Now, during this time, we are also doing a holiday challenge. And in that holiday challenge, you have the opportunity to earn two points or two raffle tickets every single time you bring a friend in. So make sure that if you guys do bring a friend in, that you award yourself those points. Another thing that I wanted to bring up in this is you don't have to bring people who have never done CrossFit before. And honestly, what I would do is, or what I have been doing is just thinking about people that I used to work out with in the past or used to be members at the gym. And I just miss seeing them. And you guys are more than welcome to invite them in. Even if they don't join, totally understandable. We would just love to see them once again in the gym and hear what they've been up to. So know that it can be anyone from past members to someone that's never stepped foot in the gym and has no idea what CrossFit is. The link is down here to get them to fill out the form so we know that they're coming and then you guys be awarded for those referral points. Now, 
I've already kind of talked about the holiday challenge, but once again, to give you guys a little bit of a visual of the holiday challenge, each day there's going to be different points that you guys can earn. So on Monday, you guys can already see this full week. Like I said, you will earn two points for bringing in a friend. And then there's a extra little workout challenge on here along with some social media points. So if you post anything to social media and tag the gym or collaborate with us, then you will earn points for that. We need the tag though, or else I can't award you those points because I have no idea whether you did it or not. I can't go and scroll through everyone's social media page to find it. So you gotta reach out and tag us. And then we are going to have some stockings up for the coaches so that you guys, if they come up in your thoughts of gratitude, you let them know so they know how much you guys care for them. So that's just an example of one day. Now, after the five days, I will tally up everyone's points and then there will be a two options of raffle baskets. You guys will split up or put all of your raffle tickets into whatever basket you want and then I will draw that out probably on Monday. So I'm going to probably need Saturday and Sunday to get all the points together and to give you guys a chance to put your tickets in whatever basket you guys want. Now back to our newsletter here. Part of the holiday cheer and even part of earning points towards a raffle is donating to our adopt a families slash toy drive. So if you have the means to help give back to our community, then we would love it if you guys can would consider um, purchasing something for either one of our two families that we're adopting for Christmas or the toy drive. I will be putting up the list of things that the families requested, needed, want on the community board. And you guys can look through it that way. If there is something on there that you have or want to bring in, you guys let go ahead and do that. Cross it off the list so we know. However, I also wanted to make things easy on us and I have created an Amazon list. So if you are someone that is really busy, and you, like Amazon, I have created a list here of things that are on their list. So you can go into there, go ahead and add it to your cart, purchase it, and then it will get sent to my house and I will bring those into the gym for you. Going back to the page there. Now on top of that, not only are we doing adopt a family, but we are doing a toy drive in conjunction with Hector and Kings of Detailing. So you can donate something to there, but if you do, bring in some sort of donation to either one of those things, then you can earn yourself a point towards our raffle as well. So those are the things that are happening right now, basically, or starting December 2nd in the gym. Now, some other details here. Ambassadors. We have our new ambassadors that are going to be there for our community in the beginning of 2025 and I wanted to announce to you guys who they are. So at 5.30 a.m. we have Gonzalo, at 9 a.m. we have Caitlin and Jean, at 12.15 we have Renee, at 4.45 we have Cody and Brian Johnson, and then 6 p.m. is Omar. And if you want to learn something a little bit fun about our ambassadors, you guys can read this here. I asked them if they were going to have a workout made in honor of them, what movements would they have in it? And I think you would be surprised by some of the things. I did go ahead and insert our holiday schedule. That is also up on our community board. And I wanted to just give you guys a little save the date that our anniversary party is going to be on January 11th, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. And it is our sixth anniversary. Our birthday is actually I want to say it's December 2nd. Look at me. I'm already forgetting these things, but um, we like to celebrate a little bit after the holidays. I know you guys plus us have a full plate of things to do during the holiday season and a lot of celebration. So I like to tack that on a little bit towards the end. All right. We have one last page for here and maybe it is the most um, deep one out of them all. 
Heads up to you guys that Coach Jasmine is putting away her coaching hat and she will now be a full-time member. And I just wanted to tell Jasmine how much we love her. If you got to work with her, you got to experience how much energy she has. And honestly, she truly, truly cares about you guys. She would spend extra time researching different mobility things, different drills to do with you guys before coming into class. And she has been immensely helpful, both for me as a business owner and as an employee and a coach. So I am sad that she will no longer be coaching, but she, once again, has a very full life of business ownership, a family, a lot of fun things going on. And at this time in her life, she wants to focus more on being a member and working out. And so you guys are probably going to start seeing her in class with you, sweating with you, moaning and groaning with you, and most likely at 5.30 a.m. But one more time, I just wanted to say thank you, Jasmine, for all that you've done for the community and for me. Last little reminder is that the, um, obviously, we're doing bring a friend, Ooh, my words here, and I just wanted to remind you guys, if any of your friends end up joining, we will offer them $60 off of their first month of their membership. And then you will also get $60 off of your invoice as well. Um, <laughs> that is where I'm going to have to end this roundup. I hope you guys enjoyed. I have to pull Misha out from underneath a chair because she's starting to kind of scoot around now. I hope you guys all have a great day. And please let me know if you guys have any questions. Bye.